we're going to talk about something today that I am very passionate about, and that is chunky glitter. I hear so many people say they hate it, but I'm going to share a few tips and tricks to make you fall in love with it. So the first thing we're going to do is apply a coat of epoxy to our tumbler just a little bit thinner than you would do a typical coat of epoxy. Let your tumbler spin for about five or 10 minutes just so it has time to level out. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab some chunkies. I'm using Peach Out, Olaf, Vacation, Oceanic, and Sea Storm, all from the Glitter Guy. Use Emery and Kay to save when you check out. So the biggest thing with your chunky glitter is you want to sprinkle it with your fingers. Do not dump it from your shaker. I promise you that's gonna do nothing but make it stick up and there's a lot of sanding in your future. So I prefer to dump mine onto my little glitter catching sheet, whatever you want to call that, so that I can just pick it up with my fingers and sprinkle it on. One big tip when using chunky glitter or really any glitter is have your glitter bottles open and set to the side so that all you have to do is grab them and use them. You don't have to fight with the cap. And so here you can see I'm just tilting my cup. I'm going to be doing a beach design with this chunky. So I kind of want to ombre it a little bit. And I'm just, the process is exactly the same through the whole cup as far as sprinkling it with your hands. Now when I ombre chunkies together, I like to do kind of a solid stripe in the middle and then tilt my cup up and down as I continue to sprinkle my glitter. I want my tumbler to be constantly moving as I'm sprinkling my glitter so that I'm not getting any weird like blobs of color anywhere. And then my ombre is um, gonna come out really nice. Now when I do my first round, and I do my chunkies, I always do it in um, two rounds. When I do my first round, I do a little bit lighter of a coverage, and then I will go back through and do a fuller coverage, especially if I'm doing multiple glitters or I'm trying to do an ombre. So you see here, I'm going back in, and I'm gonna go in with a heavier solid coverage on this. Something to remember with chunky glitters is they are not a fine glitter, so you will have little spaces in between your chunky. Make sure that you have a good base coat underneath your chunky that you're not going to mind seeing. Now you guys will see at the end, this glitter just settles right into the epoxy. Sometimes I have to tap the bottom rim, I wipe the top with my finger, and that is that. I will put this on the turner, let it cure, seal it, one coat of epoxy, smooth.